what's up on the shirt and review time That's right, Ruby episode 4 is out, and if you're just like me, it blew you away. You, I was very excited when, this, uh, when I watched this episode, because it gave me a lot to think about, it gave me a lot to look forward to in the next episode. As they say, always leave the audience wanting more. Never leave them satisfied. That way they come back. Commercial break! And we're back now. Uh, new characters. Three new characters introduced, and it's awesome. Now we have more characters to like, more characters to connect with, and drive the story forward, and, of course, to be funny. First new character to be introduced, Nora Valkyrie. What to say about the this girl? Giddy, bouncy, bubbly, funny, energetic, probably needs to lay off on the caffeine. Not much is shown about Nora about her whole fighting style or what kind of weapon she's going to use, but due to context clues and things that I have seen in the past, I believe she may wield some sort dual battle axes or war axes, you know, with each with one blade. Maybe she can combine it to make a battle axe, she has two war axes, make a battle axe, that would be awesome. But the whole, her last name Valkyrie comes from the, uh, from Norse legend, which of course used giant battle axes, they were the Vikings, and a Valkyrie was a, basically a celestial being that chose the mightiest warriors to live in Valhalla, but I digress. So basically Nora is peppy, energetic, probably going to wield an axe of some sort. Can't wait to see what she's going to do in the future. Especially when she has a friend that's as blank and collected as Lai Ren. Her lifelong friend Ren, she basically spends the entire morning talking to him as he just silently goes about his morning. And who would this man be voiced by? No other than Monty Ulm, because, due to what I've gathered, he's exactly like that in real life. Ren, Ren's weapon, I absolutely love, dual-bladed pistols. Now, I'm not sure what kind of pistols they are, or what kind of bullets they're going to be firing, but they almost re resemble a bigger meteor type of the uh, 1911 45, cal 45 pistol which, of course, is one of my favorites in my book, and each of them has a blade near the end of the muzzle, which will probably be used for slashing and stabbing. Very excited, especially when he just has that blank, awesome, when he speaks, you shall listen, because he just has that presence about him. The next new character we actually saw in the last episode. She's that mysterious red-headed girl who was in the background uh, when John was talking. Her name, Pira Nikos. According to what Weiss has to say about her, she's been a champion of a tournament for four years running. She graduated at the top of her class. She is basically the roundabout best fighter there is at the um coming in class. According to Weiss, we don't know if uh, Ruby, Yang, Blake, or anyone else would will is going to be able to best her. But Weiss seems pretty driven to get Pura on her team due to the fact that she has a whole evil scheme where then they'll be the smartest girl and the most powerful girl and they'll combine forces and they'll take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> sort of like that. But Pira does seem pretty easygoing for the fame that has been given to her, and she seems to be the more compassionate type, as opposed to Weiss, who is basically all fed up with herself and thinks she's high and mighty. Pira's weapon of choice, a spear slash staff that is also retractable. 
Now, you, we don't see it retract in the episode, but I'm pretty sure it's retractable because due to the fact that I don't see her walking around with this giant thing on her back. And she seems pretty formidable with it. She's able to throw it with ease and pin John to a wall and just take it out of the wall like it's nothing. She's, she probably use it in, uses it in melee combat as well. And once again, it's going to be amazing to see these three new characters, uh, all new fighting styles, how they're going to work together, and just a lot to look forward to with these new characters. Alrighty, key points that were mentioned in this episode. The whole aspect of making teams. The rumors are going around uh, with the students that there are going to be four-person four teams created that will be your team for the four years that you're at uh, Signal Academy. Judging by the title of this series, one of them is probably going to be... Ruby, Weiss, Blake, and Yang. Because, obviously, that's probably going to happen. And, judging by uh, visuals that we've seen in the intro, the other uh, secondary group that we're going to be following is probably going to be Nora, Jean, Pira, and Ren. Now, the whole aspect of working on a team really worries Ruby. Why? because she's socially awkward. We've been through this. She would rather just have her weapon do her talking for her, and she probably doesn't play well with others due to the fact that she doesn't like people, or something like that. Not that she doesn't like people, she probably just doesn't want to go through the hustle and bustle of getting to know people, getting to earn their trust, and relying on people. Maybe she has trust issues that are somehow buried uh, deeper than just these episodes. Maybe that we'll have some flashbacks of why she uh, has trust issues or something like that. Yet for everyone else, the aspect of being on a team excites them. They want to be on a team. Nora wants to be on a team with Ren. Ren as of course just poker faces it and uh, Weiss wants to get uh, Pira on her team that way they'll be unstoppable Jean wants to uh, get in with the ladies like a suave ladies man that he is and uh, Yang is more trying to get Ruby into being comfortable around other people so as she says, she can come out of her shell and grow up, while Ruby rebuttals that she doesn't want to come out of her shell, and as for growing up, she drinks milk. Drink your milk, kids. PSA for the day. And of course, with any school that's going to train warriors and awesome, powerful people, there is a entrance exam. And what is this exam? We're going to drop you in the middle of the woods where you can get killed and you got to get through. Total Hunger Games status. So awesome. All of the first year students coming into Signal Academy, this includes Ruby, Yang, Blake, Weiss, Jean, and all the rest, they're going to be dropped into what is called the Emerald Forest. Of course, Emerald Forest, Emerald City, making the connection with Wizard, Wizard of Oz, and there's Professor Ozpin, and Glenda Goodwitch, and it all comes together, and basically Emerald Forest. They're being dropped into the forest, which is, which apparently is going to be full of danger, due to the fact that Professor Ozpin explains to the students that destroy anything and everything in your way, or else you will die. He basically uses those exact words, which would honestly scare me, like it does John, because he's just like, what? Yeah, the question that I want to ask Dr. Ospin, does this mean students? Like, if students find each other, are they supposed to duke it out? I really hope not, because that would be bad. But anyway, the objective of the students, if you've... Of course, if you've seen the episode and you're watching this, it's to get to a temple, pick up a relic, bring it back, you score, blah 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 And 
Of course, the aspect of teams is confirmed by Glenda Goodwitch, which basically breaks Ruby, because she's just like, why? <laughs> and the thing is this, the first person you make eye contact with is going to be your partner. Who do I believe is going to make first eye contact with Ruby? Probably Weiss, because they're basically two polar opposites, and if they're forced to work together, that's just going to be hilarious to watch. Yang, on the other hand, might hook up with Blake. Uh, Jean will probably uh, hook up with Pira, and then of course Nora is going to hook up with Ren, and he's going to be stuck with her the whole time, just poker facing it like a boss because he is. Alrighty, predictions for the next episode. Basically taking what I said before about the whole teams hooking up, and we're probably going to start to see some action in the new episodes, where there's going to be fighting of monsters, and maybe fighting with other students, and, you know, um, Indiana Jones temple dodging, and there may be a giant boulder that comes after them. Then, of course, the awesome race back to the, the finish line so they can start their studies at the academy. Going to be real exciting. Can't wait for the next episode to come out. I will see you guys later. And, of course, I'm going to have to pick up a box of cereal. Pumpkin Pete's Marshmallow Flakes. If those were real... I would so totally buy them. I will see you guys next time. Yeah, yeah.